So today I'm going to do a rant video. I don't think I've actually ever said those words on a video. But I know a lot of bigger YouTubers will say, ah, oh, this is a rant video. And they'll go into their rant. So I thought, what the heck, I'm going to give it a try. Because I got something that just aggravates me. It's this push to vilify meat eaters. So I was doing a little research this morning. I've learned a lot of stuff, and it just doesn't make any sense. As you know, I've been trying to push a meat carnivorous diet. I, I don't know if I'm pushing it. I'm just telling you how beneficial it is for me. Carolyn and I have pretty much knocked out all other foods unless it's meat-based. Eggs and, and meat is, is pretty much it. Tomatoes is probably the thing that we eat the most of that's not meat-based because we like our spaghetti sauce. After that, we got green beans. And then once a week, we go to town and buy ice cream and pistachios. That's kind of our snack for the week. And Carolyn and I have been seeing a lot of health benefits. I mean, just endless amount of health benefits. I feel healthier. We're losing weight. Aches and pains are going away that I just always knew just was going to be around forever. I've been telling you that I've been having serious breathing issues. Well, that's kind of went away. Last year, I had allergies so bad that I had to use Flonase. And I think this year I'm actually not affected by the allergies that hit me so hard last year. So I'm just seeing all kinds of benefits with, with meat. But you get the vegetarians who come onto my channel, and this nut video is not about the haters. I mean, I know the vegetarians, this is just the way they are. But they come in and, oh, you're terrible. You're giving terrible advice. You should be, you know, taken down off the internet. But that goes to this overall philosophy that meat eaters need to be vilified. They talk about saving the environment a lot when it comes to vegetarian food. But there's been a lot of studies that show that growing vegetables actually harms more animals and produces more carbon emissions and all kinds of stuff than, than cows. But I can't get into that because YouTube won't even allow me to say those kind of things. There you go again, being vilified. Bill Gates has bought all kinds of farmland. I don't know all the numbers. And he's trying to do all kinds of weird stuff. We're going to grow vegetables. We're going to have uh, bugs instead of meat. And that's what we're going to eat is bugs. But I saw a recent picture of him and he looks pregnant. You look at a vegetarian and they, they don't look very healthy. They actually look pretty bad. I saw a picture of Robert Downey Jr. He went vegetarian, I think, in 2018. And in those four years, I saw a picture of him. I didn't even realize that was who it was. And then we have more and more restaurants going to this Impossible Burger, which is a plant-based meat is what it is so we got like subway and burger king and the one i found so disappointing is white castles not every state has white castles missouri's i grew up on white castles belly bombers sliders whatever you want to call them me and my best friend in high school we'd scrape up the money in the couch at midnight we'd run over to white castles they're doing this impossible burger now they're keeping the old menu but what they're trying to do is convert us into this other meat i suppose they're it's a cheaper price, so you go into White Castles, you think, well, I could save a few bucks. And before you know it, you're buying plant-based meats. One of the things that uh, bothers me the most is this push to get men to eat soy. Soy is detrimental to men. It, it's terrible. And I think most of the people on this channel agree with me. Everybody in the comment section, every time I say that, agree that soy is terrible. But they really do push it. In high school, you had two meals that you could choose from. A pizza or a hamburger. I always got the pizza. I like the pizza. But the hamburger was soy. Now, back in the 80s when I was in high school, nobody knew that soy was bad for you. Well, now we ate all this soy meat and we've lost our manhood pretty much. There is a study that shows that a 60-year-old man in the 50s has the same t testosterone levels as a 20 year old man today. I'm not seeing all the benefits that everybody's talking about. So I've spent the last year really studying the benefits of meat, the biology of the human stomach, that we don't have as much acid in our stomach as a lion, but we have more acid in our stomach than 
an omnivore tells me that it's it's because humans as they as they adapted into their environment sometimes of the year vegetables available times of the year or while they traveled or whatever they were doing meat was more available so they were able to adapt and do whatever was available but when you really look at history it shows that humans were eating meat way before they were eating lots of vegetables meat was just more available obviously there was bugs and different things that, would, that were all eaten so we don't have the biology to be able to process raw meat very well without getting a lot of bacteria because we don't have the acid in our stomach like lions do but we do have the ability to but we do have the ability to process it quite well the longer i've been on it the more convinced i've i've seen the benefits from it trust me i was just like everybody else i truly believed that a healthy diet was one in high in fiber and vegetables and i'm finding out that corn is really bad now think about this corn's easy to grow grows out throughout the united states makes a lot of money on it they can send it to the food processing companies and it's really cheap to make garbage corn chips and pasta and they make all this garbage out of corn and then tell you how healthy it is i really do think they're buffaloing us that they're lying to us telling us that meat is bad for us after all the studies high cholesterol well they were talking about high cholesterol back in the 80s so we had to all get rid of the lard and then we went over to vegetable oil and turned out vegetable oil was worse for us than the lard we programmed ourselves that, to believe all this high blood pressure from the lard because it's clogging up your arteries well it's one of the things that is a problem with high blood pressure people don't drink enough water carol and i that's all we drink is water because your blood has got water in it it has to be fluid to travel through the body and i'm not talking about drinking fluids people say well i drink plenty of fluids no you gotta drink water because all that other garbage is dehydrating and then the other thing you got to think about is pharmaceutical companies pharmaceutical companies don't get rich off healthy people they get rich off sick people so what do they do they keep you sick you eat this garbage you get unhealthy and then they can just pump you full of chemicals think about this they're telling you that the chemicals are good for you that they're treating you with chemicals but the body is not designed to process chemicals at all i saw this morning that we are no longer allowed to give an opinion about depressant medications only doctors now online are allowed to talk about the benefits of medications i just can't imagine that if i wanted to tell my friend hey man you should get a second opinion on that i'm not i don't trust that kind of medication that could get me in trouble now i'm not allowed to talk about those kind of things well why because pharmaceutical companies don't get rich off healthy people my grandpa was a naturalist a chiropractor and a naturalist he worked outside every day till the day he died well my grandma did too they were just very healthy and they ate pork beef i mean there was never a meal without meat on it with plenty of gravy of course you had green beans but she wasn't eating pastas i don't ever remember grandma making spaghetti it was always unprocessed foods they grew their own foods all their vegetables they canned all their vegetables they raised their own pigs occasionally they would raise a cow every now and then so it was all healthy food you look throughout the world and any country and that eats meat regularly or live the longest and are the healthiest population throughout the world only nine percent of this country are vegetarians but the push is almost 100 percent eat vegetables that means 91 percent of the population are being vilified are being told that they are the bad people and that they have to change their behavior and there's just too much evidence i mean there is just a ton of evidence if once you get past the the standard this is what you got to eat and all that stuff once you really start looking at all the information out there 
you begin to learn that they are just lying to you. And they have to lie to you to make money, to get rich. So there's gonna become a time where you're not gonna be able to buy meat. I'm pretty convinced of this. And my understanding is they're trying to push this by 2035. So it's not even that far away. I, I could still be alive by the time they say that we can't buy any more meat or meat products, eggs, milk, cheese. So I continuously suggest that you should try raising your own animals. Pick something that you think you're gonna like. I like the chickens, I really do. And I'm gonna focus on chickens. We have considered raising other animals, but we wanna become experts at chickens. We wanna be able to raise meat birds, get lots of eggs. We're talking about how we're gonna expand this out just so we can get more chickens in there. Because I think that we are no longer in control of our own bodies. We're no longer allowed to make decisions on our own. So I'm sure all the vegans are gonna come on here and tell me how terribly wrong I am. And I think it's funny that 9% of the population is gonna tell me how wrong I am while they're shriveling up and look terrible. And they have a higher depression rate, a higher anxiety rate. That's another thing. Since Carolyn's been eating meat, she has not had an anxiety attack. Oh man, I mean forever. And that's pretty incredible. So if you can click this up next box, take you to my next video, I really appreciate it. So I hope I can inspire you. Don't let 90% of the country walk all over you. Thanks for watching.